Hello and welcome to the Irish Ace Theatre. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, normally the focus on this site, as on all other social media associated with the Irish Ace Theatre, is the country house in Ireland. But occasionally one likes to venture into other aspects of our country's architectural history, and that's what I want to do today by looking at some of the wonderful remains of Franciscan friaries found all over the countryside. As is well known, the Franciscan Order was founded by St. Francis of Assisi in 1209. Francis died 17 years later in 1226, and within a decade, there were Franciscan houses all over Europe, including Ireland. There's some dispute about when exactly the first Franciscan friary was founded here. But an Irish province was formally established at the general chapter of the order in Assisi in May 1230. The Franciscans spread with astonishing rapidity, and by the mid-14th century there were some 45 friaries in the country. The majority of these were founded by whoever was the head of a dominant local family. So, for example, Askeaton, County Limerick, was a base for the Fitzgeralds, Earls of Desmond, who lived in a now ruined castle. Close by stands a Franciscan friary thought to have been founded in the 1390s by Gerald Fitzgerald, the third Earl, known as Gerald the Poet, since he composed verses in both Irish and Norman French. Following the lead of their founder, the Franciscans were great preachers, so, just like the Jesuits later, they built their churches as single big open spaces without any side aisles, and that's the case here at Askeaton, with the focus being on the altar beneath the great east window with its fine tracery. Beside the altar on the south wall is a row of sedilia, seats on which the officiating priest and his assistants could rest during services. These are directly beneath three elegant traceried windows that would have brought ample light into the building when it was still roofed. The church also holds a number of fine hooded altar tombs, monuments to the deceased at which mass could be said. These are found in many other churches of the later medieval period, as we'll see. But the real glory of Askeaton Friary lies to the immediate south of the church, its 15th century cloister. This consists of a covered walkway running around the four sides of a central enclosed quadrangle. At Askeaton, there are 12 pointed arches supported by cylindrical columns on each of the four sides. Only two of the columns are modern replacements. The rest are original to the building. And there's one special detail worth noting in the northeast corner of the cloister. A carving of St. Francis in his friar's robes and displaying his stigmata. The face is more warm than the rest of the figure because it used to be believed that kissing it would cure toothache. Askeaton Friary survived until 1579 when plundered and burnt by Sir Francis Mulby, although somehow members of the Franciscan order managed to survive here until the early 18th century. However, it has been a ruin for several hundred years, and if you're in the area, it's certainly well worth a visit. Thank you so much for watching The Irish Aesthete. In the next episode, I want to take you to another Franciscan friary, one a little further north from Askeaton, and with a particularly fine altar tomb. I look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye.